I need to stop eating cheese before bed. Don't forget the flowers. Got ages. Here we go. Premium writing time. Do not think about watching porn. Discipline, Harry. Hello? Amazon delivery. I didn't order anything. Just get down here. Is this about the French press I said had returned? What are you doing? I'm an Amazon Prime customer. Baby, let's go. You work for us now. I knew Amazon had shady hiring practices, but this is a bit much. Shut it, you awful dodger. Fuck. Jesus, tell me. Do you know what? I'm just, just trying to find my level a little bit. I just want him to believe me. Okay. So you thought you could get away with it, did you? Just waltz off without paying. Awful dodger. Are we still talking about the French press, or? Joe Matthews. Solicitor, flat 616, Soho building. Grab him, chuck him in the van, <laughs> and you don't want to know the rest, mate. I live at 316. My name's Harry Sheriff and I'm a writer. So you're unemployed? <laughs> Have you been speaking to my girlfriend? Maybe. Listen, you got the wrong man. I live at 316. Yeah, but that's what they all say, mate. You've got the wrong guy. I've done nothing wrong. Please, I put my cock in a blender. <laughs> He actually died afterwards. Listen, Joe, it's a cute story, but do you think my mate Tony's stupid enough to put 316 instead of 616? Six isn't even close to three. It doesn't even look like it. I mean, I wouldn't mind if it was a if it was a five or an eight. Or a seven. Yeah, but that's not how the numbers work, is it? The intercom has three sets of three numbers and a zero at the bottom. One, two, three, next row, four, five, six. So the three is directly above the six. Listen, don't try and baffle us with maths. Well, it's definitely not maths. You awful dodger bitch. Why does he keep saying that? Don't worry about that. You're here now, and you're doing the job for us. I'm gonna have to answer that. It'll be my girlfriend. All right, answer it. But if you squeal, Tony's gonna hit you with the hammer. What hammer? <laughs> oh, understood. Hi, Marie. Hi, you okay? Yeah. Are you sure? You don't sound okay. Yeah, I'm fine, I'm just writing. How is it going? It's really hard, I don't know where it's going. Right, that must be tough. We lost three people this morning to cancer. Looking like two more this afternoon. Yeah, I'm glad you've not had a bad day. You are going to pick up those flowers still, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, of course. I'm, I'm, I'm leaving the flat now. 
Why am I buying the flowers again? I mean it. If you forget those flowers, I will fucking leave you. Do you hear me? You piece of shit. Bit of a random one. Any chance we can stop off at a florist? No. no. Right. Take the bag and give it to the woman and she will give you something back. Simple enough? Simple as typing in the right flat number. Don't look in the bag. Is this really happening? No, mate. It's just one of your shit stories. You've fallen asleep at your desk again. My husband. Jesus. My for my husband. It's like they think the more flowers I get, the easier it'll be. You understand, don't you? I was told to give you this, but I'll be honest. I've had a look inside and there's nothing in there. And I don't want this to take an ugly turn. An ugly turn? Yeah, like two big guys come in and do me. In. Two big guys come in and do you in? Can you not repeat everything I say? It's really creepy. Don't worry about the bag. I don't know. They seem to think I should worry about the bag. Like, if there was one thing to worry about... ...it was the bag. Why are you always afraid, Harry? I'm not. How do you know my name? I know what you know. And a little bit more. Is this some type of sick prank? Because you don't know me at all. You use comedy to hide your pain. OK, you know me a little bit. None of this makes sense. Why does everything have to make sense? My husband always used to leave little notes for me. Drove me mad. You've forgotten the flowers, haven't you? I haven't. They don't close till...
Hello? Creepy lady? Thank you. 